Good morning. Even if it's not morning, I like to say good morning just to catch you off guard. So here's the deal. I'm in my car. I'm going to be doing the drive through Bible in the next video. But I want to cover something else first. I'm going to be calling this video Meeting in the Middle. You know, there's a country song, Meet in the Middle. 700 fence posts from your house to mine. And in the middle, there's this big old oak tree. And now, years later, they get married and they're under the oak tree and all that good stuff. Meeting in the middle. How do you meet in the middle? So, when you are a Christian, you should absolutely follow the Bible. You should read the Bible, try and understand the Bible, understand what the, not the Old Testament law, because that's a different covenant, but the law of the Bible. I mean, think like 1 Corinthians 13, for instance, the love chapter. Paul says he could do all these great things, drive out demons, do, you know, feed the poor, etc., etc., but if he doesn't do it with love, he's just a banging gong. And I think sometimes Christians, we have a hard time with that. You know, I was a school bus driver for many years, and when it came to dealing with the kids, if I had a bus aid, it was a little different thing. But when I'm by myself, you know, there's a limit. I'm driving, there's only so much I can do, you know, focus on the road, and then the kids, and occasion, I'd have to pull over, etc. But I was always a more uh, lax bus driver. I didn't enforce every rule as strictly as I could, partly for my own sanity, uh, partly because there's this limit to what you can do. But also, when I did a write-up and when I had to actually punish kids, I wanted to make it mean something. I didn't want to be petty. Now, like, when I was a younger person, my mom, she would mostly let me do stuff, but her gut reaction was no, because she was afraid about this or that or the other thing. And I get that. But, like, when you're a parent or if you're dealing with kids as, you know, a professional, like a bus driver, you got to kind of figure, you know, the rules are here, the kids are here, you got to find a way to meet in the middle. Ideally, every kid should follow every rule all the time, just like we as Christians, being a new creation, should follow every rule, every law, be perfect in every way. That should be our goal. Now, we won't be this side of heaven, but we should, you know, towards that goal. So, I think it's important that when you come across other people, Either they have not been on the Christian walk as long as you, or they're, you know, maybe they've been on a long time, but they're just, you know, they're way back where maybe you think they should have. That doesn't matter. You have to try and deal with people the way they are and understand. And if you're harsh and rude to them, it's going to turn them off. And we want to get as many people to Christ as possible. But that sometimes takes time, patience, and understanding. And, you know, like the, the, the steam pot, you got to kind of, you know, let the steam out once in a while. So when you're dealing with people, try and keep that in mind. Try and be flexible when you can be. Uh, you know, different people when it comes to politics and even, you know, things in the Bible, what we should and shouldn't do, how we should do it, what we should believe. There are different opinions, and I think to a large degree, we need to find a way to work with those opinions, even people who disagree with us. We need to find what we can in common and find ways to be polite and hopefully be a sweet-smelling perfume that will lure people to Jesus. So, I just wanted to address that. I am totally into the idea of being scriptural, being biblical, and I did want to mention that for the uh, drive through Bible, fries with that. Now, I say fries with that, not french fries. I'm using the food theme, and, you know, tulip, tulip is a weed that needs to be pulled out. I think it's a problem, and fries, I think, will partially help answer that. Eventually, I'm going to do something more in detail on tulip. But FRIES, for me, it's an acronym that means first read in depth each scripture. So if you got an issue, you don't just read one or two verses and take them all in context. You got to read really the whole chapter, but at least some verses before, some verses after, preferably the whole chapter, preferably the chapter before and the chapter after to get the context. So fries with that. That will be uh, my drive-through Bible thing. So, next video, 
drive through Bible. Uh, I'm going to start in Matthew and then go to Acts and then read through the New Testament. I might at some point go back and read one of the other three Gospels. Uh, but since, uh, you know, being the uh, believer in baptism I am, you know, some of my life verses are Matthew 28, Acts 2, Romans 6, and I think you could even throw in John 3. Um, I think if you read, you know, forget 316, um, I should not say forget. Do not focus on 316 alone. You got to look back. Jesus is talking to Nicodemus about being born again. And, okay, total rabbit trail, squirrel. I'm totally guilty with squirrel. But anyways, do -do 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 -do. point is, uh, I'm going to be doing this. Uh, I want you to focus on the Bible. And one reason why I'm doing it is I have, you know, I'm not a big reader. I'm more of an audiovisual person. I have read the Bible. I've mostly listened to the Bible. I've listened to Christian sermons on the Bible. Uh, Les Feldick, uh, who I do have some theological differences with, uh, you know, the, the thing is, look, I think this will be good for me, and maybe there are people who just don't read the Bible, and I know there's other places on YouTube you can get the Bible, and there's good Christian material on YouTube, uh, but uh, last thought on meeting in the middle, um, marriagebuilders.com. Now, yeah, it's about marriage, but the principles work for everybody. I'm going to kind of paraphrase and summarize real quickly. Uh, there is a free radio show that you can listen to. You can also pay for the podcast. It's not really a well, podcast, whatever. You can get a subscription. You can listen to past episodes. Put it that way. Um, but I encourage you to do that because here's the thing. What I'm going to explain is the policy of joint agreement when it comes to that whole meeting in the middle. You know, when people have a disagreement in marriage, and this works for any relationship, you need to kind of find a way, you know, you may want to go to one restaurant, somebody else wants to go to another restaurant. Well, maybe the answer isn't, you know, you know, you want to go to McDonald's, your girlfriend wants to go to Taco Bell, and maybe can't agree on that, so maybe you go to Subway instead. You know, whatever. Whatever restaurants, I'm just using random examples. So, I suggest, you know, the, the policy of joint agreement and learning how to kind of negotiate and find the middle ground. That's something uh, in His Needs, Her Needs, and some of the other books that Dr. Holly wrote. I encourage you to check those out. So, I just wanted to cover some basis uh, a little later on in a few days. I'm probably going to do some other things some more commentary and I'm going to work on uh, you know the the stories that I'm trying to create and, and tell you a little bit more about those so until later be always jovial wear it with a badge of honor B-A-J be always jovial have a pickle neck